obviously it was because plays were called were awesome. No, <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, they knew they they came out and you know what we've been trying to get them to do and be physical. Um, you know, downfield they did a great job with you know run after the catch. I thought the whole group of them did. I mean, that was a good that's a good front we were playing against. So we knew we had to get the ball in our, our guys' hands out of the perimeter, and they would have to make plays for us and keep us on the field. How impressed were you with the play of Mossy Johnson going from a guy who didn't play much at the beginning of the year to now? I know, and then, De then Devin kind of tweaked a little something, and so then we had to move him from wide to the slot, and you know, so he actually played two positions. But he, you know, he's a he's just a scrapper in there. Works hard. I was, I was really proud of uh, Brett after that first, you know, the first pick. Um, you know, which was basically he just didn't see him. He got caught him. He just got lost him in his vision, and he thought he had Nate. And but he came back, and I thought really just kind of shook it off and, and really played a great game. How, how special is Brett? Right? He's pretty damn special, right? Yeah. I think that's three in a row against those cats for him. And I don't know how many games since I've been here. He, you know. He makes me a uh, better coach. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, and, he, and, he's, and he's really like kind of changed a little bit even this year and really growing up. You saw him, he hang, hung in the pocket, made some tough throws for us. And, I think he's starting to really trust his offensive line now that yeah, the McCormick's there. Yeah, without a doubt. I think that's probably the biggest you know, change in us in the last month has been to play the O line. Talk about his run performance versus his passing performance. Who's this guy? <laughs> huh? I am up. I am part of the spirit of, of, of the Sea of Diamonds. Part, part of I the love night. this guy. Huh? Part of the night, brother. <laughs> part of the big night. Part of the big night. Good to see him. Coach, did you hear my question? Did What's you that? talk about his passing performance versus his run performance tonight? Um, you know, I think they. You know, they played us with a few more guys in the box. So I think that's one thing that they weren't gonna. You know, he kind of hurt. Has hurt some teams, obviously, with his running ability, and so they, I think they, they made a conscious effort. And I'm not talking for Justin. That's just was kind of my take on it. Is there wasn't a lot of room in there for Brett, um, you know, to to tuck it and take off. They did a nice job of containing him, containing him as a runner, and so I was really happy with with him, you know, hanging in there, getting to like number two and number three progressions on some things. Is there another level of maniacal spirit left in the squad for Stanford and beyond? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna enjoy, we're going to all enjoy this one tonight, and we're going to start thinking about those guys at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Jimmy's so on, call Jimmy's me at Jimmy's already at Stanford. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy's on Stanford. <laughs> did those play, did well, they, I'm going to enjoy tonight. Jim yes, can do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> those short routes with, with Devin and Fuller seem to be working pretty well yeah. this game. seemed like you guys kept going back to it. Yeah, and, you know, that's in, in Devin where what kind of the hidden yardage in that is, is it helps our run game. Because it forces them to kind of, you know, adjust to what Devin's doing out there, which allows us maybe, which helps Paul and JJ and Starks more. Did you expect the USC to blitz as much as it did early on, at least? Uh, no, I mean Justin's a hell. I mean, they, I mean, they're a really good defense. They do a great job down there, and he always has a good plan. Um, and he, I don't think he blitzed a lot. I think he mixed it up. Did a nice job of mixing it up, and you know, kind of got to us a couple times early. I'm surprised by the job in uh, Peyton because, I mean, it was a, a series where he did three consecutive passes. I thought no, he was going to do that. didn't surprise me. He was, able, he was able to get open like that? No. JP? No. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah. No, JP's a ball player. Yeah. No, he's kind of a go-to guy for us. So, you know, I know Brett has a ton of confidence in us. I mean, his football team has a ton of confidence in JP. All right, guys. Thanks, Coach.